Ever wondered which investment fund could turn your $10,000 into a fortune? Let's meet the contenders in this financial showdown. First, the SSO, or ProShares Ultra S&P 500, a fund that leverages daily investment results. Next, the SPY, SPDR S&P 500 ETF Trust, mirroring the performance of the S&P 500. And finally, the FSLX, Fidelity Select Semiconductors Portfolio, focusing on semiconductor stocks. Each began with $10,000, growing to $46,092, $28,817, and $86,561, respectively. Now, let's dive deeper into their performances and see which fund really gives you the best bang for your buck. When it comes to investing, the return on investment is a key metric. Let's compare. In the thrilling race of returns among three notable funds, the Fidelity Select Semiconductors Portfolio, or FCLX, took a commanding lead with an annualized return of 26.02%. This impressive performance is not just a number, but a testament to the fund's robust growth strategy in the dynamic semiconductor sector. Trailing behind, yet with respectable figures, is the ProShares Ultra S&P 500, known as SSO, which posted an annualized return of 17.79%. This leveraged fund aims to double the daily performance of the S&P 500, a goal that reflects in its vigorous, yet more volatile performance. Meanwhile, the SPDR S&P 500 ETF Trust, or SPY, offers a more grounded approach with an annual growth rate of 12.01%. As a direct reflection of the S&P 500 index, SPY provides a steady, if more conservative, growth trajectory. FCLX not only leads in total returns, but also shines in annual growth. But how do these funds handle risk? High returns often come with high risks. Let's scrutinize how volatile these funds are. In the realm of investment, volatility is often a double-edged sword. ProShares Ultra S&P 500, or SSO, tops the charts with a standard deviation of 31.95%, indicating it swings more widely in its returns compared to SPDR S&P 500 ETF Trust and Fidelity Select Semiconductors Portfolio. This high volatility is reflected in its best and worst year performances, where SSO soared to 63.45% in its best year, yet plummeted to minus 38.98% in its worst. On the other hand, Fidelity Select Semiconductors, or FCLX, also showcases significant fluctuations, with a standard deviation of 28.31%. It reached a remarkable high of 78.14% in its best year, but faced a steep decline of minus 35.18% in its worst year. While FCLX shows promising highs, it also risks steep lows. Next, let's measure how each fund manages these risks. Higher returns are enticing, but smart investors look for risk-adjusted returns. In the realm of risk-adjusted metrics, the Sharp Ratio and Sortino Ratio offer deep insights. For the uninitiated, the Sharp Ratio measures the excess return per unit of risk, while the Sortino ratio focuses the downside risk. Taking a closer look, FCLX leads the pack with a sharp ratio of 0.91, outshining SPY 0.71, and SSO 0.63. This suggests that for every unit of total risk taken, FCLX returns more to its investors. Even more telling is the Sortino ratio, where FCLX again stands out with 1.52, compared to SPY's 1.10 and SSO 0.96. This indicates that FCLX not only manages risks better, but excels in managing the downside risks, which are often the most critical for investors. FCLX not only offers higher returns, but does so with a commendable balance of risk. Let's wrap up our findings. After comparing key metrics across these funds, it's time to draw some conclusions. Fidelity Select Semiconductors Portfolio, or FCLX, has clearly led the pack, not just in sheer growth, but also in managing risks effectively as seen in its superior Sharpie and Sortino ratios. While ProShares Ultra S&P 500 or SSO showed commendable gains, it also bore the brunt of higher volatility and deeper drawdowns. SPDR S&P 500 ETF Trust, or SY, remained the bastion of stability with the least volatility. If you're aiming for the highest growth and can manage the ride, FCLX seems to be the champion. But remember, Every investment carries risk. Choosing the right investment fund can significantly impact your financial future. As we've explored today, the diverse performances of SSO, SPY, and FCLX highlight the importance of aligning investment choices with personal financial goals and risk tolerance. 
Each fund has its strengths and weaknesses, whether it's the high returns of FCLX or the stability of SPY. Understanding these dynamics is crucial. For instance, while FCLX showed remarkable growth, it also carried a higher risk, as indicated by its volatility and maximum drawdown figures. On the other hand, SPY, despite its lower returns, offered a more stable investment route, which might appeal to those with a lower risk appetite. Given these variations, it's advisable to consult with a financial advisor who can provide tailored advice based on your individual financial situation and future aspirations. A professional can help you navigate through the complexities of investment options and market fluctuations, ensuring that your choices are well-informed and strategic. Subscribe for more and remember to comment on what fun you would like me to look into next.